I'm Nathan Mullins, and I'm from Clarksville, Mississippi. I teach at Savannah State in Savannah, Georgia. I teach painting and drawing and um, color design and intro to art, and I make paintings. I would say that the imagery in, in a lot of the paintings comes from um, the literature that, that I'm reading at the time, uh, also the music that I'm listening to. Um, I listen to the lyrics probably a little bit more than I need to, um, and so I'll, I'll glean um, uh, little snippets of, of information from, um, from those sources, and that will become the, the kind of images that, that I'll produce in the paintings. Sometimes the, the images uh, in the paintings come about um, through, through my drawings first. And a lot of the, the drawings, which are ink drawings mainly, are just me making marks, random marks, on, on the, the paper until something starts to emerge. I don't know, it's, it's a game. Like, uh, uh, how can I make this thing weird? I'm interested in the idea of what a hero is. And, and that comes from reading uh, Joseph Campbell's The Hero with a Thousand Faces and like what myth is. And, and so um, I kind of see these, these figures as mythic hero kind of characters, um, which will come either from real lived experiences or a lot of times, like I said, um, through literature um, or the music that I'm listening to. Splash started as an entirely different kind of painting uh, altogether. I'd been working on it on and off for um, over like a couple of years. It started as a close-up of a hip sitting on a, on a couch. It just wasn't coming together at all. And I was about to just give up on it entirely when I, I turned it over and I started to see two little feet in it for some reason. It started to become two, two feet, but actually from under the water, looking up. Um, and then I turned it back over again. Uh, it's like, no, it's a person diving into to the water. The scale of the figure to, to, the, to the size of the image completely shifted and everything else. That doesn't happen too often. She Appears, um, this is from the, the series that I was working on, uh, uh, illustrating scenes from Infinite Jest. It's creepy, spooky. That, that started as, uh, as a painting that was about this big. Um, and so, so as, as a way of just getting ideas out, I just had a bunch of canvas glued to cardboard and I was just making a bunch of tiny paintings. I was just trying to, to push out a bunch of ideas. That idea was a good one. Um, and so I, I made it bigger. And in terms of the, the use of uh, uh, flatness versus more kind of swelling areas in it, that was pretty important to me. Like there's, there's kind of a believable shadow right to the neck. Little moments of um, semi-naturalism uh, and then uh, contrasted against these big kind of blocks of um, flat color. There's Utz, uh, again from the, the Infinite Jest series. Um, it's a big giant bag of potato chips. There's a in the graveyard scene again, one of the, the characters, he, he just says that he's eating from a large corporate bag of snacks. What does that mean? Um, what if there was a, I mean, I, I was also eating a lot of Utz salt and vinegar potato chips because they're delicious. Uh, and and uh, staying up late in, in the studio and everything. Um, and uh, the, the vending machine was right down the, the hall. If, if I can push the, the color into strange realms, um, then I would hope that that would indicate to the viewer that, uh, that I'm after something other than reality.